Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a seasonal roundup of some of my favorite things from summer this year, including some body care, hair care, makeup, and fragrance, of course. And I'm also throwing in some accessories and fashion items as well, so I have a nice variety going on. Just all of the things that I've been loving and living in. Some of these products are new, but it's the best of what I've tried for summer 2021 and the products that I cannot stop using. I'm starting with hair care because I only have a handful of products here and I usually don't change up my hair care routine that much. If you want a list of all of the products that I use and love, I do have a video, so I will link it down below. But this is something that I purchased a couple months ago now from Sephora. It's the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Joa Dry Shampoo. It is incredible. It works amazing as a dry shampoo. It's very functional. But the reason why I love this so much is the scent. It is intoxicating. It smells like the Bum Bum Cream. I think they have a perfume mist. Like heaven. It truly does transport you to the beach, to the tropics. It makes you feel like you are on just a luxurious vacation. But the scent of this dry shampoo, all of my dry shampoos have some sort of scent going on and they usually smell really nice, kind of fresh and clean. The scent is so strong. This scent is more powerful than some of my fragrances. I can smell it for days. If I spray it in kind of early and I'm letting my hair go for maybe another day or two, I can still smell the dry shampoo. When I'm out for the evening, I can't smell my fragrance. I can smell the dry shampoo. I really love the way it smells. So for me, that is a bonus. If you're letting your hair go a couple days to the point that you really need dry shampoo, you also wanna make sure that not only does it look nice, but it doesn't have a funky smell. So I cannot recommend this enough. Blew me away. I have now a nice collection of dry shampoos. And if I'm going out somewhere, if I'm just running errands, I'll just grab whatever is closest, whatever is convenient. But if I'm going out or I'm going to be around people, this is the only dry shampoo I use. It smells I might as well do a little demonstration. I need dry shampoo today. I think this is day four hair, so the curls have basically fallen. I brushed through them before I sat down to film. I was gonna wash it this morning, but I figured no, I'll just go ahead and film, leave it one more day, and then I'm gonna wash it tonight. So what I typically do when I'm applying is I just kind of take a slice with my finger near the part, as close to the part as possible, but not in the part because I don't want any powder or residue to be left. And then I typically just do just a little bit, just a couple sprays. Give it a second or two, and then you wanna shake it out and just kind of massage it into the scalp with your fingers, depending on how oily it is. Same thing on the other side. Just a couple spritzes. Kinda of wanna give it a minute, let the powder absorb all of the oils, and then you just rub, massage, and shake it out. You guys know how much I love hair masks. I'm willing to try anything and everything. I just love a deep conditioning treatment. I usually do them once a week, sometimes a little bit more. I really love this Olaplex Number no. 8 Bond Intense Moisture Mask. I know I talked about this in a previous monthly favorites video, but I finally went through it. I think this is the fastest I've gone through an entire hair mask in a really long time. It's only $28, I say only $28, it is expensive, but it is about a fraction of the cost of the Kerastase hair masks and some of the other more expensive luxury brands that I like to use. It's great on its own, but I prefer this combined with the Olaplex number no. three treatment. Do the leave-in, let it sit in your damp hair for about 45 minutes, longer if you can let it, wash your hair, and then instead of conditioner, I'll go in with this and there is something about the combination that is incredible. It really does make your hair feel so nourished, soft, makes your hair feel fresh and new, really great. If the number three treatment doesn't interest you, you're not willing to do both, then you could go ahead and skip this. But if you're interested in doing them both, if you have color treated hair, chemically treated blonde hair like I do, I highly recommend the combination. This has been one of the best hair care discoveries I've made this year. I think this launched, yes, it launched during the spring Sephora savings event because I remember I was so excited I could get my discount. I have a few other half empty hair masks currently sitting in my shower that I wanna go through first. So I'm not gonna replace this just yet, but I'm not gonna wait too long. This is something that I will absolutely be restocking. For now, it's gonna go in the empties bin. So 
one product out, one product in. This is something that is brand new. This is a collaboration between Way and Byredo. It's either their second or their third product, but it's the first one that I've ever tried. This is their leave-in conditioner. And what drew me to this is the scent Mojave Ghost. I don't own any Byredo fragrances, but Mojave Ghost is my number one favorite. It smells incredible and I love this leave-in conditioner. It is so nice. This was sent to me from Sephora. The fragrance is really beautiful. It's a little bit sweet. It's kind of warm, cozy. It's a woody fragrance. Kind of smells like a warm summer sunset. I don't know. I love it. I love the fragrance choice. Love the way it makes my hair feel. I think this is a great collaboration between Byredo and Way. And usually these products do sell out. I know they came out with a dry shampoo the last time. And by the time I came around to purchasing, it was already gone. So if this sounds like something that interests you, don't do what I did last time and wait. Go ahead and pick this up. You won't regret it. This isn't really a hair care item, it's an accessory, but I would consider this to be a summer hair essential. It's my favorite hat and it's in stock, so I wanted to make sure I went ahead and talked about this. I actually wore this in a video a couple months ago. It's structured, it's the perfect size, it's straw, it goes with everything and on those days that dry shampoo isn't going to cut it but you don't have time to really style and wash your hair, the hat. The perfect summer hat is just that accessory that every woman needs in her closet. I cannot tell you how many times I've looked a mess. Haven't had time to style my hair but I'll throw it up in maybe a little ponytail, low ponytail or a low bun and I throw this hat on and it just elevates the look. It is such a chic accessory and I prefer the structured straw hat to the floppy straw hat. Something about this I think it just looks more chic. And it's not very expensive. They carry this at Nordstrom and they've had this for years now because I purchased mine years ago and they just always carry it. It's from Brixton. It's the Joanna straw hat. This is the best color combination. They have a few other color combinations as well, but I think the black ribbon looks so great with everything. I usually carry a black purse. My everyday bag is black, so I think it's a really nice tie-in. Over the summer, I cannot tell you how much use I get out of this. And I'm in Miami, so what am I talking about? I get a ton of use out of this year round. Not only is it incredibly stylish, but it also helps to protect your skin, your hair, your face from the UV rays, all of that sun damage. So if you're taking a summer trip, definitely a beach vacation, the wind gets crazy on the beach hat like that is so perfect. The only other accessory I have to mention today is this necklace. I'm actually wearing it. So you guys have heard me talk a lot about Ana Luisa jewelry and my love for them and I've been wearing them for years. I love all of their pieces but I recently discovered another jewelry brand that I'm really living for at the moment, Etika. So I purchased this palm necklace. What's great about it is that it comes pre-stacked. So as soon as you put it on, it just hangs perfectly. You don't have all of the individual necklaces so it doesn't get tangled. The prices are really decent and I think the quality is nice. I loved the necklace so much I also ordered these earrings as well, which I haven't worn as much as the necklace. I've worn them a couple times, but they're so big. I was shocked whenever they arrived and I took them out of the little bag. They're beautiful, so much fun for a night out but definitely not an everyday earring. I used a discount code when I placed my order so they were even less expensive and they've extended a coupon code for me to share with you guys in case anybody's interested. I believe you save 20% off. They have a little bit of everything, anklets, bracelets, some of the prettiest necklace stacks I have ever seen. My Etika wish list keeps growing. Every time I open their emails, it's really dangerous, but I knew I wanted to wear this necklace today because it's layered and it has this long piece right here, but the slip dress has this cowl neck, so it's not going to cover it up. It's kind of the perfect combination. And this slip dress, if you can believe it, is from Lily Silk. So it's 100% pure mulberry silk. I've worked with them before and they were kind enough to sponsor today's video as well. In the past, I've talked about their silk pillowcases and silk robes, which are incredibly luxurious. This is the first time I've ever tried any of their clothing items and I am incredibly impressed. First of all, I love the color of this dress. It is so beautiful, the most vibrant, gorgeous blue, perfect year round actually. I think I could style this dress for any season. The cut of the dress is incredibly flattering. It just sort of skims the figure, so it's not 
too tight, but it's also not so loose that you kind of lose your shape. And of course, if you wanted to with a slip dress like this, you could always throw on a belt. I have so many slip dresses in my closet at the moment. I live in slip dresses. And this is now my favorite one. It feels so thin and lightweight, which is incredible in this summer heat, but also very high quality. And I like the fact that they made the straps adjustable. It hits at the perfect place. And because it has all the subtle style details, I don't feel like I'm stepping out wearing my pajamas, which Lily Silk does have incredible pajamas as well. If you're more interested in silk jammies, they're so nice. I think they must have hundreds of styles just of silk pajamas. So the dress I love, but they also sent over two gorgeous skirts. They are flowy and feminine. It was so easy to steam them really quickly. I see myself styling these skirts with either bodysuits, button downs, maybe crop tops for brunch, but they look so sophisticated and elegant. I love these lily silk pieces for summer. And the very last piece they sent over is this really cute black sports bra. I love the shape. It's available in a couple different colors. And I must say I was surprised when I found out that they even carried sports bras and athleisure type wear. When I think of Lily Silk, I think of really high quality silk pillowcases, eye masks, robes, blouses. They have some beautiful blouses. My wish list is growing for Lily Silk as well. But this is something that is new that they recently started carrying. It's not silk, it's made out of nylon and spandex, but I wish you could feel this material through the camera. It feels amazing. It's nice and thin, but very supportive. Huge thank you to Lily Silk for dressing me for today's video, but they've also extended a coupon code for all of you guys. So if you're interested in shopping for anything on their website, Erin TV 15 will save you an additional 15% off your order. I will make sure to leave the promo code, the link. I'll even list some of my favorite items down below in the description box. We're getting back into the beauty now. Another summer essential is sunless tanner. This isn't just a summer essential. This is a year round essential for me, but definitely over the summer. And I feel like I have tried just about every sunless tanner under the sun. Last year, I attempted a video where I swatched them all. I actually did the swatches and then something terrible happened and I ended up not doing the video, but I will probably do that video sometime soon. I just need to find the right time when I'm not gonna have my arms showing. That way I can have swatches of different sunless tanners, but I feel confident knowing now that this is definitely my favorite shade of sunless tanner. This is the Australian Glow, the One Hour Express Dark Mousse. The Saint-Tropez Express Mousse, also really beautiful. The Saint-Tropez Extra Dark was really nice as well, and the Loving Tan Deep, beautiful. My favorite shade, because it has a touch of warmth and it looks really natural, is this Australian Glow Dark. This mousse will take you 0 to 100. You get incredibly dark after just one application. There are other sunless tanners I've tried that, yes, they will give you a little color, but maybe it's because I'm incredibly pale. I have to go in two, sometimes even three times before I'm as dark as I really want to be. And you can see I do have some sunless tanner on right now. I'm not an expert as much as I do it all the time. I always mess up my hands, but after a couple days it fades, kind of creates an ombre effect and then it's not such a harsh line. I have a little color at the moment. I'm sometimes even darker than this. And I didn't go in with this Australian Glow because I find myself saving it. It has to be a photo shoot or something with pictures, a really special occasion for me to use this because I have so many sunless tanners from trying to create that video. I wanna go through the ones that I know I don't really like first and then I will use this up. But they also have refills. So once you finish the bottle, you can purchase a little packet and then just refill this. That way you don't have to keep buying plastic bottles every single time. Just an added benefit. It's better for the environment as well. But the color, if I'm judging just on shade alone, the shade of this Australian Glow is the best out of all of them. Along with a good mitt for application, I also recommend this back applicator. This one is from Loving Tan and it works. It's not perfect, but unless you have somebody within your household who's willing to put the mitt on and get all of the nooks and crannies, all of the places on your back that you can't reach, this is the next best thing. It's pretty self-explanatory. You just pump a little mousse right here on the sponge and then you just slap it over your back and rub, rub, rub. And you look in the mirror and you just do the best you can until you don't see any pale spots, until it's all brown. This doesn't really smooth it around and blend it out the same way as one of the mitts, 
but you kind of just smooth, 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 and just make sure everything looks brown and all of the skin looks covered and it works. It just does the trick and it folds back up so it doesn't take up a ton of space. You can just throw this right in the drawer or slip it somewhere very discreet. I have a few other body essentials here that will help you with your tan. The first is from First Aid Beauty. This is the KP Bump Eraser Body Scrub with 10% AHA. I've talked about this in another monthly favorites. I am in love with this body exfoliator, the best I have ever tried. I want to say this is maybe $26, so it's on the less expensive side of some of the more expensive body scrubs you can purchase from Sephora. But what's great is that it has the 10% AHA as well. It has a pretty tough grit to it, so it will physically exfoliate all of the dead skin cells, but then it has the AHA, so it also has the chemical ingredients that will help refine the skin. This is perfect before you sunless tan when you have to do that one last body scrub. If you shave your legs, you're pretty much good on your legs, but for your arms, your neck, chest, decollete, your stomach, your arms, you wanna make sure you exfoliate really good. So this is amazing before sunless tan and after. When you get to that awkward stage where it's starting to peel off a little bit and you're ready for a fresh tan, but you kind of look like a leopard, you wanna exfoliate your body then as well. So this is amazing for that. Another product that's great in between tans is this Isle of Paradise self-tanning butter. It says, hello golden glow. I think they might have another shade, but I love this stuff. I didn't think that a self-tanning body butter would really work, and it doesn't work in quite the same way as the self-tanning mousse. The mousse is going to get you really dark really quick, but when that starts to fade, but you're not quite ready to slough it off for your next tan, this helps to extend the life of your tan because once you've applied the sunless tanner and you've showered, you're good to go. You want to make sure to hydrate the skin as much as possible to maintain it for as long as possible. This kind of helps fill in the gaps, make it look nice and smooth. That way you don't see how patchy it's getting early on. I use this so much, I'm almost done with this bottle and I'll have to restock whenever I finish it because now it's become part of my sunless tanning routine. I can't be without it. My favorite body lotion when I just want hydration, not extra glow or tan, is the Sol de Janeiro Bum Bum Cream. The scent is incredible and it leaves your skin feeling so silk and just buttery smooth. I love this so much. I have it in two additional sizes and I've been using the smaller sizes, but you can see even in this one, my fingerprints are in there from just digging it out. Coconut, almond, vanilla. It's so nice. Tropical deliciousness and the butter is so soft on your skin. I cannot get enough of this stuff. I want them to come out with every possible ancillary product. I don't think they have a body wash. They need a body wash. They need a body scrub. They need it all. I will be the first in line to purchase whatever products they come out with. As long as it smells like this, I want it. And the last body care product I pulled out is this new glow screen body from Supergoop. They came out with this earlier in the year and I love it. I actually keep this in my purse because I never want to find myself out and about and just exposed to the sun if I forget to put sunscreen all over my body. I usually apply SPF to my face if I know I'm going out for the day, but I don't always apply sunscreen to my body. If I'm going out to work out or some occasion where I know I'm going to be outside, then absolutely. Even if I'm just running errands, but the sun is particularly hot that day, I always like to lather up with some SPF really quickly, and this has the most beautiful sheen to it. It's really pretty. So it is nice for your neck, chest, decollete, the arms, the legs. It will give you a very subtle glow, but it's really pretty and just convenient. And then I also really like the glow screen. This I use constantly for the face, SPF 40, SPF 40. So they both have SPF 40. They're not the same product. When I first opened this up, I wasn't sure if it was going to be the same, but it's not. The glow screen for the face actually has a little bit of a tint to it, not much. I think probably most skin tones would be fine using this, but it does have a little color to it and it's a bit thinner. I think it's just formulated for the face. I've never had a bad reaction. I've never had a breakout after using this. It's great every single day. Cannot get enough of it. As soon as I go through this tube, which I'm getting pretty close, I already have my backup. The majority of my go-to makeup products from summer this year were featured in my Best of Creams video. And then of course I did a full face of creams. 
So you can refer back to that if you're looking for fresh faced summer makeup, but I still pulled out a couple of my favorites, including the By Terry Brightening CC Serum. I talk about this constantly, so I'm not really going to go in depth, but this would probably be my one must have product just because it is so versatile. It's great as a primer. It's great for neck chest decollete, for example. If I just wanted to apply a little bit to my shoulder, since I'm exposing my shoulders today, I could just apply this to my chest anywhere that I wanted a little extra glow, and it just looks so pretty. It adds a little bit of color. This is the Sunny Flash, so it gives you a slight bronze and a really nice sheen, and it has skincare ingredients in it as well, so I love this over the summer. And then for bronzer bronzer, I really like the new Christian Dior Forever Bronze, the Forever Natural Bronze, excuse me. I have shade 05 Warm Bronze. It is so natural. I accidentally dug my fingernail in there. <laughs> so it has a little battle scar, but it's so pretty on the skin. I really like that it has a completely matte finish because I like to go in with products like the CC cream and the glow screen. So I usually have a lot of radiance on my face before I go in with powders. It's nice to have something that's matte to help balance it out. So I find this to be gorgeous. I love the compact. It is refillable. There's a hole on the back. So I don't know if they're going to come out with refills at some point. I would assume yes, since they made the packaging refillable. I haven't seen them anywhere online, but I love this bronzer. Definitely happy I picked this up. I skipped the highlighters for now because I have so many highlighters. I imagine they're gorgeous as well. I think I've done a pretty good job honoring my low buy this year. I think it's because in 2020, I spent way more money on makeup than I ever had in the past, and I tried to purchase almost everything that came out last year. So this year I'm kind of overcorrected and I'm really trying to buy the least amount of makeup possible. But I am very happy with these purchases. This new dress palette from Dior, I don't think this is new. No, it's definitely not new. But I picked a... Th it's new for me. I purchased this during the Sephora Spring Savings event because the curiosity just got to me. I wanted to try this new eyeshadow formula from Dior and it did not disappoint. I think this is probably the perfect everyday palette. This shade right here is the perfect kind of medium deep color in that you can build it up. You can get a little depth as much as you would need on a daily basis, but it's not really a smoky palette. It's really the perfect daytime palette. I love the quality of these shadows, really creamy, easy to blend. I'm also really glad I picked up this Le Beige Intense Healthy Glow Natural Eyeshadow Palette from Chanel. This collection, I think, was maybe my favorite, the Le Beige collection this year. It's definitely the collection that I've purchased the most from so far. The Tender Eyeshadow Palette was really pretty as well. This is just the one that I get the most use out of because it's neutral. Those are the colors that I generally live in, but I was so impressed by the tones of these eyeshadows, and I really like this formula now. I didn't originally, but now I do. I think it started with the Warm palette last year. I was really impressed with that, and I love the tender and intense eyeshadows. More recently, I purchased a few new lip products from Chanel, and I'm so happy I did because they're incredible for summer. The two lip glosses I threw immediately in my purse, and I've been wearing them constantly. In fact, I'm wearing Physical on my lips today. I picked up 166 Physical and 728 Rose Pulp. They're beautiful. And it had been such a long time since I had purchased a new Chanel lip gloss. I decluttered several of them. I felt like I needed to add a few more to my collection. At the moment, I think I only have three or four. And it's probably been over a year since I picked up Burnt Sugar. And that was the last one I purchased. So I'm happy to add these to my collection again. And I am committed to using them up before I can declutter them. But in terms of summer lip gloss shades, I don't think you can go wrong with these two. I think they're probably the two most summery, fun Chanel lip gloss shades. And out of the two new Rouge Allure Lac lipsticks I purchased, I think 82 Beige Confidential is the most summery. It's more of a light peachy coral. It's really warm and vibrant on the lips, not really beige. I think this is the lightest of the new shade. I was hoping they would expand their nude shade range. They're not there yet, but this is still really nice. Depending on your style, it could be an everyday shade, but I think this is more of a fun date night coral for summertime. Really pretty. The lipstick I'm wearing today underneath the gloss is this new Power Lip from Giorgio Armani. This is the shade 
106. It's the lip power. Did I call it the power lip? It's called lip power. This is a brand new formula and I love it. It's so nice because it's just a creamy lipstick. That's my favorite. I'm so glad they didn't come out with more matte lipsticks. But also it's shaped like a teardrop so it kind of tapers to a point at the top which helps you to get a really nice precise cupid's bow and the corner of the lips as well. So application is really easy. I didn't go in with a lip liner today which I've been using a lip liner on a daily basis, but today I figured I would skip it and just go in with the lipstick and it was perfect. The very last category I have here to share is fragrance and I pulled out what I would consider to be my top three perfumes for summer 2021. Very difficult to narrow down and of course I have plenty of fragrance videos, summer fragrances, affordable fragrances, you name it, and I will continue to add to the list, but these would be the three that I think I've enjoyed the most, I've gotten the most use out of. They just sort of embody the season and then I have one ancillary. So I'm gonna start with that one. Well, I'm not sure you would really consider this an ancillary. It is a perfume, it's a perfume oil. The Madagascar Vanilla from Nest. I have a couple of these oils, I love them. Also really like the rose, but I think for my summer perfumes, the Madagascar Vanilla is the perfect match. So you can wear it alone, but I like to layer my fragrances. So I'll take a couple drops of the perfume oil. Just draft a little bit in my hand. And then you can just rub it all over. Neck, chest, decollete, your arms. Oh, it has such a pretty scent. It's not too sweet, not too creamy. It's a very natural smelling vanilla, which I love because it makes it very versatile. You could layer this with so many different kinds of fragrances in the fall winter months. You could definitely wear the vanilla with more gourmand spicy fragrances, your amber perfumes. But over the summer, it works really nicely with your beachy fragrances or your fresh fragrances. The first fragrance that I've been in love with ever since I discovered, no surprises I'm sure, 51. Keynotes include Bergamot, Raspberry, Gardenia, Orange Blossom, Tuberose, Lily of the Valley, May Rose, Vanilla, Sandalwood, Cashmere Wood, Anise, Patchouli, Cinnamon, and Clove. Every time I smell it, I'm just in awe. I'm gonna wear this as my scent of the day, so I'm just gonna layer a spray or two on top of the perfume oil. It's not going to change it that much because the Madagascar vanilla is a bit lighter, but this fragrance dries down and it becomes a little bit light. It's amazing, but it's not the strongest, most powerful perfume. So you definitely wanna make sure you layer this on top of hydrated skin. Going underneath with the perfume oil is a really great idea. The second fragrance is Oud Shone Intense from Fragrance de Bois. This is such a summery vacation fragrance. It smells incredible. I'm so happy I discovered this. They actually sent this to me complimentary a couple months ago at this point. It's been a while and it was instant love for me. At first I tried everything in the discovery set and there was a clear winner as the number one favorite. If you've been interested in trying this brand, if you like fragrances that smell kind of summery, a little bit tropical, Oudjone Intense is amazing, will not disappoint. And it smells very luxurious. It's almost an elegant, slightly elevated Soleil Blanc from Tom Ford. And even that is an incredibly luxurious fragrance, but there's something about Oudjone Intense. I think it's a little bit more smooth. You don't get those bitter notes. Maybe it's missing the pistachio. Something about it is incredibly tropical, but incredibly luxe. My very last fragrance choice is Cassiopeia from Tiziana Terenzi, simply because I've been wearing this nonstop. I can't get enough of this fragrance. As much as I think it is so perfect for summer, I also think it's good enough to just be your signature scent. You could wear this every single day, year round, and not get sick of it. It's just effortless, it's always appropriate, it's not offensive. It's definitely a crowd pleaser type of fragrance, but it's also special. It feels like a special perfume, so I also think it could be bridal, it could be a special occasion perfume. It's really whatever you want it to be. If you love this fragrance, you're gonna struggle like I have to not grab this. It's that good.
And that completes my list of summer essentials for 2021. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, questions down below. I would love to hear from you guys. What have been your summer essentials? Any new discoveries, products that you just always love over the summer? Drop me a comment. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned. Everything on my face will be down below in the description box, including all of the information on Lily Silk and the coupon code. So be sure to check them out. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.